Welcome back to Deathly's Mouse Plays. Gloomhaven. And so I've been thinking, muddling about, and I think... I think we're going to abandon this. And I, I realize what I did wrong. I realize my mistake now. And that is fine. For one, I don't think I was ready for... Um four people in the party. I forgot that that actually scales it really toughly. That's not really a good grammar there, but you understand what I mean. And I... If I just... I don't think I can actually get rid of them, can I? I can delete the character. That was probably my one mistake. Because I believe the game is easier the less people you run. But regardless, the other mistake I was making, and this is a big one, was using the burn abilities. Was using this. I forgot about this little symbol in the corner. My, It's so tiny, my brain just kind of glossed over it. And I forget that that actually is straight up crippling. Because when you use those abilities, the card goes straight to burn. It doesn't discard, it burns. Which really lowers your deck a lot. And I forgot you do get three extra cards as well. So what I might do is change everyone's deck a little bit. I might go in and see a good a good deck to use here. I like the heal 2, range 3, target 2. That's pretty good. Now attack 3, range 3, disarm, gain 1 for each enemy target, but that burns. Actually, that's pretty good forceful storm right here. This, that's pretty good. Now I think we take that. I like Earthen Clod. I don't think Dirt Tornado is actually that useful. I mean, Muddle is nice. Muddle, Muddle is nice, but I don't. I don't think we need it. I think we take Crater, and then I think we just take the rest. Oh. I don't, well, Opposing Strike we don't really need either, to be honest. This right here would be good if we were a range build, which we're kind of not. I mean, yeah, we have Earthen Clod, Crater. I guess we do do a lot of range damage, huh? Maybe we do take Nature's Lift instead of Crushing Grasp. Because we, we can burn this at the start of the... At the start of the thing, and then just go from there. I think that's a good idea. We have one... We could do backup ammunition and nature's lift together. And just really... Oh, well, maybe Nature's Lift isn't that great. How often do I conjure air? Not very often at all, actually. Never mind, then. Then I guess we'll keep... I guess we'll keep Dark Tornado, then, because it does count as a ranged attack, and on the first turn, we can just straight up go on your next four ranged attacks, gain, add, target... Yeah. Okay, let's go through, through your deck then. What are these? On your next four heal actions, add two heal. That is potent. Literally. Create two... Create one two damage poison trap in the empty hex. Now, now poison isn't... Poison isn't great. I've never actually liked poison that much. Maybe I just use it wrong. I'm not sure. 
This isn't going to be a dungeon episode. This is going to be me just kind of muddling through the deck, which I should have done the first couple of episodes. But when I when I first played it on the board game, we uh, we kind of just jumped in. We didn't really think about it, and we we got to the end, but didn't win. And then we sat down and strategized, and that's kind of what I did here. I'm I'm not the type to usually sit down and think like very hard which is bad for this kind of game because that's what you need to do i'm kind of just the jump in and hope for the best type of guy maybe splash a few cannonballs miss a few things die and redo it but no that's just how i've always been this could be nice maybe we get rid of the tinkerer maybe we do the spell weaver I think we get rid of the Tinkerer. I think Alice becomes a Spell Weaver. Because I actually like the Spell Weaver quite a lot. Because if I remember her deck correctly, her deck is actually kind of nice. I mean, you can summon allies, which are great. But she also has the ability of reviving Aether to recover all of your burned cards. Now, you use this at, like, towards the end, when we finish the archer room and we head into the bone skeleton room, that's when we probably use this. Um, but she's got some good, strong cards, so, you know, hit with fire orbs in the beginning room, maybe, maybe the skele or the archer room hit the archers. Same with this, you know, you just, you just use these and then recover them at the very end so you can hit the skeletons and go from there. Um, Mind Thief is also somebody that has some tricky play to it. He's a very tricky uh, character. Very um, uh, buff heavy. So you have these augments that you can use. Poison's good against really beefy enemies, like the the nine health uh, guards at the very beginning. Maybe we do a summon in the beginning. I mean, we could do a mind thief and a spell weaver in the group instead of a scoundrel. Let's try a let's try a mind thief. Spell weaver. Well, we'll try it, you know, why not? Cuz I I believe the 
Well, I like the scoundrel in the board game, but... If you guys want to be mercenaries, let me know, because I can... I can always bring you guys in. If somebody dies, or... Could do another summon Mystic Ally too. I think we grabbed that. So let's ride the wind. Move eight, jump, get wind. Nah, let's do. Yeah, she can only have eight cards, though, which is really rough. I mean, summoning the allies... ...in the beginning might not be bad. I like possession. Possession is very good for bosses and just big enemies like What would we take out for it though probably this On melee attack, heal self too is pretty good too, but. Summon a plague rat. Gain shield. So you can go invisible. I mean, I'm not sure how good the heal actually is. Oh, that'd be pretty good, actually. Alright. I like the stun, but it requires me to get close, and I don't want to get close. So, what we should do... Let's go to the merchant. Can we buy anything? I mean, Cloak of Invisibility is nice. Um, I don't think we need to, I mean, we could buy a, we could buy some potions, like healing potion, which I think are a good idea. And I think we just put that on, uh, what's it called then? I bought two, where'd they go? Wait, can you not have them? Oh, cause you bought them. Right. Oops. I thought you could trade. Am I wrong? Can you heal allies with this? No, it's a three self action. Well. Oops. Um. 
well, I guess Roy. You can buy a health potion. And then me, I'm gonna wait on buying the health potion. I thought you could trade. Well, the two bless is always nice as well. Anyways, we are going to, uh, next time, this is going to be a short episode. I just wanted to go through, talk about my little strategy. It's probably not a great strategy. I, I'm not good at these kind of games, but that's okay. I enjoy them. And I think I have a better strategy now coming up. So we will see. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.